Hi guys, it's Jamila here from Slap. Today I'm going to be doing a video on the brand new Byredo lipstick. This is brand new from Byredo. It came out in four new shades and one new finish, which is shimmery, frosty, 90s goodness. So I'm going to be testing it out for you guys today. But if you haven't subscribed already, guys, please subscribe. We would love to have you in the Slap family. And without further ado, guys, here is the video. Guys, today I'm going to be testing out the brand new lipsticks from Byredo. They are £35 and £42 US dollars, 0 0.010 ounces. I went into store and I swatched all four of them. Two of them are very, very similar. There are two that I just didn't think were going to work for me. I'll insert clips from that. It's also available on the vlog from Sunday. So if you had a chance to see that, you've probably already seen them, but I will include some clips in here as well. But if you want to see like the whole full shebang, then you can find it in the vlog on Sunday. I think it will be vlog 14. Six of the lipsticks we didn't know we needed, but apparently we do, according to Byredo, we do. As you guys probably know, I've really tried some lipstick, well, a lipstick from Byredo, and it is one of actually my favourite lipsticks. It is the Earth Dust Lipstick. I love it. It's a very grungy movie nude you guys probably heard about me talking about it all of last winter it's a really nice shade and i love the packaging from by radio it's so nice so there are four shades they are feverish which is a gently glittering pink amber and furs which is a warm shimmering nude view rose which is a vibrant antique rose and dams and jam which is an, a high intensity pink plum they all have a kind of purpley pinky undertone which i think is quite a good idea if you're going to go for something metallic you probably don't want something like too too rich because it can look a bit intense but i'll show you guys what they look like on the models this is feverish this is amber and furs This is View Rose. And this is Damson Jam. They look very different on the lighter and medium skin tone. For me, it was kind of a toss up between View Rose, which looks kind of cute and plummy on the deeper skin tone. It looked very soft. It kind of reminded me of that old school posh lipstick in the shade Pose that I used to really like. It's very kind of plummy and nice and natural looking but i do already have a shade like that and i also have like the gucci lipsticks that are kind of similar to that so it kind of reminded me of those and i was like do i need another one i'm not sure but anyway so those are the shades it says this is a shimmering finish which reflects light and adds depth with an exceptional formulation that is both comfortable comfortable and impeccable by radio lipstick has sumptuous levels of color saturation and does not dry the lips lightweight long lasting non-drying high coverage ultra gliding they say it's not going to be drying and i have to say having tried the earth dust lipstick it definitely isn't a drying lipstick it's really easy to apply mainly because of like the shape of the bullet this is the earth dust lipstick it's always really it's easy to apply and it has a magnetic close so i'm going to be showing you guys the packaging let's see if it's any different let's see if it's similar i'm excited to try it. it's kind of random but we are coming into autumn you always need something fun to funk up the the dark days of awesome winter so perhaps this will be it so i'm just going to get into it because i'm absolutely baking I'm just going to show you guys the packaging and then i'm going to get into a demo
actually a lot more plummy than I remember it being in store. In store it felt a lot more beigey, a bit more nude. Here it feels a bit more rich. I do like it, it's definitely not as like intensely frosty and metallic as I thought it was going to be, which is nice. Especially lined up next to all the others. It doesn't look too out of place, it looks quite similar. It's very similar in shade to the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Intense Lipstick and the Victoria Beckham Posh Pose Lipstick. So if you've got any of those, then maybe Depends whether you really need this, I'm not sure. But I don't think anyone really needs this lipstick. This is something you want if you want something like random and fun. So the packaging is exactly the same as the Earth Dust packaging. Super nice. Uh, I love the gold top and the silver bottom as always. It's very ergonomic. It's really comfortable to hold. It just fits in your hand perfectly. Very satisfying. And yeah, love it, very nice. So I'm just gonna do a demo. I'm just gonna take off any makeup that might be on my lips, any foundation. Make sure I have a bare lip. Mm, gross. First up, I'm gonna try it on just on its own. Let's see how it looks. I'm gonna do my bottom lip first. I'm not putting any lip balm on just to see how hydrating this can make my lips. So this is my lips before. Quite dry, quite parched, looking very sad. It just glided on so sim so easily, so smoothly. Up close, it looks a lot more frosty. I feel like I've definitely got like a metallic frosty lip on, which is quite unnerving, I guess. So I'm gonna pop some on the top. not bad actually it's kind of weird it's like why are my lips frosty on camera it definitely looks a lot more natural than it does in the mirror in the mirror you can definitely see like the metallicness of it a bit more and it looks a bit more foiled and a bit more intense but I do actually quite like the color it looks quite natural as a color it kind of brings out my complexion a bit more and it is quite nice so I'm not against it it's just quite random. What I'm going to quickly do is just blend it in and see how it looks like kind of blended out a bit. I quite like that too. I feel like it would wear nicely throughout the day. This is probably how it would be after about an hour or so of wear once I've been like eating and drinking and stuff. So I do quite like that. That's quite nice. And as it becomes more wintry outside, I'm sure that will look quite nice and fresh brings a bit of colour, it bring, brings a bit of a stain vibe to my lips, which I do quite like. So I'm going to try it on with a lip liner, the Charlotte Tilbury Foxy Brown Lip Liner. It's a very soft brown and it looks a lot more like my skin tone. It's the one I go for if I want a more natural look. Then I'm going to try it on with Pillow Talk Intense, which is what I do most days. It's a bit richer. So that's Pillow Talk Intense and that's Foxy Brown. So first up, this is Foxy Brown. That is the Foxy Brown with the Amber and Furs lipstick from By Radio. I do actually like this together. I think it looks nice. It looks a bit more nude. It looks a bit more brown. It, I feel like that brown lip liner has kind of dragged it down a bit and it looks a bit more grounded. It looks a bit more natural. Up close in the mirror, it does still look pretty metallic. <laughs> I can't explain it. I don't know why it's not showing up on camera, but it does still look quite metallic up close. But I do feel like this is a lot more like slightly more grown up, slightly more sophisticated than it was just on its own. On its own it felt very fresh and very nice and like natural looking, whereas this one looks a bit more like chic uh, with the brown lipstick on. So I'm just gonna give you a final close up and then I'm gonna take it off. It's 
it's very comfortable to wear considering I've used micellar water and just kind of stripped my lips dry, completely dry and bare. It does feel really moisturizing straight away. It's not the most even application, 100%, but I'd say it's like 98% even. So I do like that. I'm gonna quickly take it off one last time and pop it on with the Pillow Talk Intense. Okay, so last but not least is my favorite, the OG, the apple of my eye. Don't know how I can find a dupe for this. The closest dupe for this is Mac Chestnut, also Kia Wise, but this is my one, this is my favorite. This is the, same thing. This is the Charlotte Tilbury, grrr, Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Intense Lip Liner. In the mirror, it definitely looks its richest and deepest and more metallic ever. But there's something quite nice about it. It's very wintry like this. I quite like it. So I'm just gonna give you a quick close up. So that's the lipstick in Am the Amber and Furs with the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Intense. This definitely gives it a much more of a rich undertone and a rich effect. It looks the deepest it's looked. It also looks like the most plummy. It really brings out that plummy undertone in the uh, in the lipstick. So I do think this is a good lipstick in the sense that depending on how you pair it or how you wear it, you can get very different effects but still feel like they look still fairly natural, still not natural, but they do still look quite flattering on my skin tone in every way, even though they are very different looks. So I personally, right now, would probably go for the Foxy Brown one, but this one's quite nice. It's quite rich, it's quite deep. It looks quite intense, especially if I had like a really bare lid and a wing and like my hair back or something. So I do like this. I think it is nice. It is random AF, like I don't know why why we need shimmering lipsticks, but I'm not offended by it. It does look very metallic. It does look a bit random, but there's something about it that's kind of cool. I kind of like it. Anyway, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Will you be buying it? Will you be trying it? Let me know. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please subscribe. I would love to have you in the Slap family. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you on the next one.